Rescuing an eye that would otherwise be lost is the most miraculous achievement for ophthalmologists. In this article, we review the current literature concerning bacterial keratitis that cannot be treated with commercial eye drops or family fortified eye drops. Bacterial keratitis is an important ophthalmic emergency and one of the main causes of corneal blindness. The main causes of the resistance to treatment in bacterial keratitis is the failure to eliminate predisposing factors, misdiagnosis, and mistreatment. The first priority is to eliminate exogenous, local, and systemic predisposing factors that disturbing ocular surface in order to heal corneal ulcers and prevent recurrences. Smears and scrapings for culture and staining are indispensable diagnostic tools for cases of site treatment keratitis, which are centrally located, multifocal, painful, and characterized by melting. Topical antibiotics are the mainstay of the treatment. At present, the most appropriate initial treatment approach is to select empirical antibiotic therapy based on direct microscopic examination and gram staining until the results of culture antibiogram are available. Staphylococcus aureus and coagulase negative staphylococci are the most common gram positive agents and have resistance rates more than 30% for fenoloprenone and methicillin. Multidrug resistant rates are similarly high in these microorganisms. Pseudomonas aeruginosa is the most common gram negative microorganism, and multidrug resistant strains are associated with a very poor functional and anatomical prognosis in infected eye. In cases of site threatening and resistant keratitis, request antibiotic susceptibility testing including independent colistin and linezolid. As ophthalmologists, we have an important responsibility to prevent emergence and spread of antibiotic resistance. Antibiotics should be prescribed at the required dose and duration for them to be effective. We should remain aware of rapid diagnostic techniques such as PCR as well as culture and staining also. A careful differential diagnosis is important to avoid unnecessary antibiotic uses such as viral and allergic conjunctivitis. Using antibiotics instead of polydromiodine in ocular surgeries appears to contribute substantially to resistance development. Therefore, although their efficacy is currently limited to superficial corneal infections, we should follow the promising result of non-pharmaceutical treatment options like corneal cross-linking.